Governor General, Her Excellency, Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pinling, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie, and a slew of parliamentarians were among those paying respect to the late former Minister of Out Island Affairs, Warren Lavardi, as his body lion stayed at the House of Assembly this morning. Some made sign, the sign of the cross, others simply gazed at his face as his body lie in a coffin adorned with white roses. Lavardi, who died at the age of 82, was first elected to the House of Assembly in 1960, where he served until 1972. He was a cabinet minister in the first majority rule cabinet formed following the historic January 10, 1967 elections that ushered in majority rule. He would later become one of the founding father, fathers of the free national movement. Before House proceedings this morning, Prime Minister Perry Christie reflected on the contributions of Lavardi, who he says played a defining role towards the development of this nation. There's only one left of that pinling cabinet in, of 1967, the majority rule cabinet, A.D. Hanna. Um, it was Warren and A.D. Hanna were the two surviving members. And so with his death, I'm hoping that the nation will have an opportunity to hear about him and to see the defining role he played, particularly in being able to give the people of Grand Bahama a sense of involvement in the affairs of the nation and being able to, through where his own origins, um, um, to be able to bring the need for there to be equity in the, in the distribution of revenue around the islands. And so I, um, when we think now of where we are on my own policy of focusing on creating economies in each of the islands of the Bahamas, um, Warren Lavarity was the first. Lavardi is survived by his wife Vera and together they have five children. A state funeral will be held for the former cabinet minister and parliamentarian tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock at Christchurch Cathedral on George Street.